that. Or a beanie. Mm -hmm. Coming up here, National Security Advisor Susan Rice says America's foreign policy is working well. But Congressman Louis Gohmert just got back from the Middle East. He says it's just the opposite. He joins us next. Everybody in the Middle East is asking, where is the United States? And all of this is the result of a policy, a deliberate policy of retreat. When America retreats, the bad guys fill the vacuum. Wow. It's exactly what's happened. Charles Krathammer there on what he calls the president's policy of retreat in the Middle East. Texas Congressman Louis uh, Gohmert just returned from a trip there. So how does he feel about this? Does he feel the same? Uh, Representative, welcome to Fox and Friends once again. Where, which countries did you go to? Well, been to uh, Egypt, to Libya, to Lebanon, to Israel. Uh, uh, it, it, we've been all over. and. Uh, just in the last few months also to the UAE, other Middle Eastern countries. And let me tell you, Charles is exactly right on this. Uh, what has scared our allies is the way that they have seen us turn on our, some of our allies and start helping our enemies. Now this deal with Iran, for example, where we're trying to show leadership, actually, we're preparing the Middle East to, to be a powder keg because while we're making this deal with Iran, which includes uh, from the U.S., Wendy Sherman, who was also the policy director on North Korea back in 94, when the Clinton administration cut them a deal to give them nuclear uh, power plants in return for a promise not to pursue nukes, we all know how that went out. Well, Wendy Sherman's the lead negotiator on this deal. Mm -hmm. So our friends see what we're doing. We're, we're about to allow Iran to have nukes, regardless of what's said. And so you've got Saudi Arabia, Turkey, all these other countries. Oh, yeah, Turkey was another country we visited. But uh, you've got all these allies of ours who are going, wow, we're going to have to have nukes. We've never felt the need to have nukes before, but if Iran's going to have nuclear weapons, we got to have them too. Mm. It's exactly the opposite of what we ought to have happening. And our dearest ally over there, the most, the close, uh, most closely related in democracy, Israel, yeah. is more threatened than ever because of this administration's policies. And in Libya, just as in Egypt, where this administration has been the backers, basically, of Muslim Brotherhood candidates in Egypt, for example, uh, where basically they assured the Egyptian people, if you like your radical Muslim Brotherhood leader, you can keep them. They didn't want him. People rose up by the millions. And what they kept saying again and again is, please make sure the United States understands this was not a coup. The guy that you supported, Morsi, Morsi. and told us was such yeah. a great guy, guy he pushed through a, a uh, constitution that didn't even have a yeah. provision for impeachment. And so they wanted to remove the radical Islamists. That include moderate uh, Muslims, yeah. uh, Christians. And they're actually putting down the radical Muslim Brotherhood. They've declared the Muslim Brotherhood as, uh, as a terrorist organization. And in this country, uh, as was said in an, an article in Egypt uh, a year ago, yeah. uh, there are six Muslim brothers that are closest advisors to the president here, Obama. Uh, Congressman, we, with a few seconds left here, I want to get your thoughts on what Susan Rice had to say on 60 Minutes this week. She says, look, we are actively engaged in these hot spots around the world, and it is difficult, but we are engaging with all of these people. And what you, maybe you don't see going on publicly, we're doing behind the scenes. Do you buy that? Well, I've been behind the scenes, and uh, she's as wrong about this as she is or she was about uh, the attack on Benghazi being nothing but a protest about a video. She was wrong several times then, and she's wrong on this, and I don't know how in the world that that uh, person still is on the U.S. stage giving us uh, lectures on television. It's just incredible the administration even trots her out anymore. I guess they got to keep her close so she doesn't spill the beans on what all she knows. Yeah. <laughs> Representative Gomer, uh, nice finish there. Thank you for being with us. Thanks See you so soon. much, Congressman. Well, thanks. Yeah, Always good to be with you. Thank you. you. Got it.